Hi guys, it's Xenia. Welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see by the title, I am doing a declutter. I just recently gave kind of like a major life update in my room tour that I did not too long ago. To kind of sum it all up, within the next year, I'm going to be moving a few times. Once we get out of here, we're going to be in a temporary situation and then next year we will be making a very big move and that is going to require a lot of downsizing, saving money. And I'm also super glad that all of this is happening because I don't wanna say it's forcing me into realizing what I have because I always knew that I had a ton of stuff. But it was never like a necessity for me to get rid of stuff. So I just kept stuff over the years. This may be super embarrassing and stupid to admit, but I get so attached to materialistic things, it's actually a problem. Like, why are you that attached to a freaking eyeshadow palette? Like, let it go. So this whole thing is honestly kind of opening my eyes to being less of a consumer and to just stop falling for every single ad I see and just realizing that I don't have to buy every single product that I hear being recommended to me on TikTok. I am a sucker for that. I definitely have fallen heavily into the over-consumeristic trap. When it comes to fragrances and stuff, I kind of excuse this because this is my job and I want to give you guys variety. But everything else in my life, I want to be in this, I don't want to say minimalistic. I love my makeup, but I just feel like there's a fine line and I've kind of crossed it. And I realize that I've crossed it. And the saying, less stuff, less stress is very accurate. So right now I'm just working on decluttering every single area in my life. I decided to kind of start with my fragrances because this is going to be an area that is going to be really really hard to move. Fragrances weigh a lot and I have a lot of them. So little by little I do need to start downsizing. Now you're still going to be seeing hauls for me. I'm still going to keep buying perfumes. It's not going to be until next year that I'm really going to have to downsize with my fragrances but I do want to reiterate that my channel will not be changing. I'm still going to be hauling fragrances. I'm just going to be making a lot of changes behind the scenes. Moral of the story, I just want to be better about things that I'm buying. I want to be conscious of things that I'm buying. I want to show love to the things that I have without constantly seeking out the next new thing. I'm just over it at this point and not all of it was bought. Don't get me wrong. Like I get things sent to me. I used to work at stores with makeup so I got a lot of stuff for free or with crazy discounts. So a lot of it was accumulated through things other than me just spending money on these things, but I just feel like whether things are free or you spent money, especially if you spent money on them, it's important to use what you have, to love what you have without constantly seeking out the next, the next, the next. Because the world of materialistic things will never end and there's always gonna be something new. It's just up to you whether you have self-control or not to actually realize, hey, I might already ha actually have this. As per usual, these are all gonna be listed on my Mercari. It'll be the first link in my description box. So for anyone interested, go ahead on over there. With all that said, before we get into this video, please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and turn your post notifications on and let's get started. With the clutter, I am getting rid of 13 fragrances. I just made a community post and I basically let you guys know firsthand on there because once I upload these videos, usually things go pretty fast and then I get comments of people saying, oh my god, I missed out. Can you please do another Mercari drop? So here we are. I do want to say four of these perfumes already sold just with that community post. So I'm going to talk about those fragrances first. The so first perfume that I got rid of is Mugler Angel Muse EDT. Since the moment I bought that perfume, I don't think I used it once. I think I got it because I was too scared to get the actual Angel EDP and the Angel Muse EDP because there was a lot of comments saying they're really really strong but then if you want kind of the same scent in just kind of a little bit of a lighter way then get the EDT version. So I'm like okay great so I'll get the EDT and it'll give me the sense of Angel Muse just in a bit more of a wearable way and it was like that don't get me wrong Angel Muse was was nice but after getting so many fragrances and falling in love with so so many I just found myself using those so much more and I never even looked in the direction of Angel Muse. Most of the time I completely forgot that I even had it. So while I was doing this declutter I went to go smell all the perfumes I had and I smelled it and I'm like it's nice but am I gonna realistically wear this? 
no. And as far as the scent of Angel, I now have this, which is the Angel Body Cream. And this is absolutely amazing. It's so, so strong and it gives you the scent of Angel. And I'm not gonna wear it every day. So I'm like, if I already have that, I don't think I need like Angel Muse on top of it. Right. Next scent is kind of nostalgic. And I want you guys to let me know if you've been with me ever since I talked about this scent for the first time. So I finally got rid of Marc Jacobs Decadence. Please, in the comments down below, let me know if you've been with me since the video where I talked about Marc Jacobs Decadence for the very first time. I did like a first impression video of me literally like unboxing it, just giving you kind of like my real raw reaction to the scent. And I actually really, really, really liked it. I mean, if you saw my reaction to it in that video, you would know that. But again, with Decadence, it is a bit more on the polarizing side. It's a very green scent. I don't think it's bad by any means, but same thing with Angel Muse. It's just a scent that is very specific and it's just not going to be something I wear on a daily basis. It was more of like a special occasion type of fragrance and I've already found some really, really good special occasion perfumes that I'm always going to reach for and Decadence was just, it wasn't used. Honestly, I might have used it a few times when I first got it because it was just like that initial infatuation with it. And then the love for it kind of just died down. So I'm like, I think it's time that I let go of it. This one might be a little bit of a shocker. And I completely love this perfume. And that is Paris Hilton Gold Rush. I love it. I think it smells really, really good. Even when I was doing the declutter, I smelled it again. And I was like, this smells amazing. But I have not used it. It was completely full. Literally bar barely used it. Maybe I sprayed it like a total of like two times. I will say Gold Rush is a great dupe for Victor and Ralph's Bon Bon perfume. Which is a little bit on the higher end side. And obviously Gold Rush is a celebrity perfume. So you can get it for a really, really good price. So if you're into like sweeter scents. And that Victor and Ralph candy, sweet, perfumey type of scent. Like super girly. Then you will definitely love Paris Hilton Gold Rush. Right. And then the last perfume that sold already, I listed Miss Dior Absolutely Blooming. Again, same thing as the other ones. Great scent. I remember when I got it, I really wanted to try out a Miss Dior. And those fragrances, I feel like, are just not really my taste. So I remember going into Ulta and smelling every single one of the Miss Dior's. And they were so rosy and overwhelming. I'm like, no, these are not my type of scents. I'm not into the synthetic rose, super mature kind of scent. And then I smelled absolutely blooming. And I'm like, oh, okay. This one has a lot of sweetness to it. I'm liking it and I bought it absolutely blooming again it had a lot of rose and it was wearable don't get me wrong it was a lot sweeter than all the other ones I would say so if you're looking into the Ms. Dior line absolutely blooming if you're a sweet lover I think that's the safest bet but I didn't really use it and it also reminds me a lot of Giorgio Armani C. I already have C and I do actually wear C more than I do absolutely blooming so I just kind of chose that one over this, but it was like a brand new bottle. I literally had sprayed it like once. Those were all the fragrances that are sold already. And now let's get into the stuff that is, as of now, when I'm filming this video, it is all available. As I said earlier, once I post these videos, usually things go by pretty fast. So first off, I am posting BU Golden Kiss. So these perfumes are actually from Greece. My parents went to Greece like a couple years back. I asked them to bring me some of these because I remember using them when we used to go there a ton. And this brand had a chokehold on me. Like I was obsessed with this brand. They just made some really, really good perfumes that duped a lot of higher end fragrances. And this one in particular, Golden Kiss, I would say is very, very similar smelling to J'adore. I kind of prefer this to J'adore. There's just something nostalgic in it. I don't know. I think it's so, so pretty. And I'm just getting rid of it because as you'll see next, I also got rid of J'adore. I'm just kind of over this scent. I never wear it. I think it's beautiful, but I have so many perfumes that I actually reach for. And if I haven't reached for it in like a year or more, I'm not going to. So speaking of, here is J'adore. This is definitely a little bit more used than all these other ones. It is more than halfway full though. And oh yeah, they smell super, super similar. This is a really pretty scent. It's super feminine and it just has this really ethereal vibe to it. It's more so on the cleaner, fresher side. 
and I don't wear a ton of those fragrances just because I am a sweet perfume lover. So these kind of fragrances are very rare for me and I feel like I've already found like my favorite freshies that are just like amazing. So this one just kind of, it, I mean, I used a decent amount of it, but I have not used it in a good while. I feel like in every one of these declutters, I get rid of a Zara perfume and every time I go into my little Zara section, I'm like, okay, I'm done decluttering them. I'm good with what I have. And every single declutter, I go and I find something else. So this time, I decided I'm getting rid of Apple Juice by Zara. So the reason I'm getting rid of this is because I'm kind of just over this scent profile. So if you don't know, this is a great dupe, like almost literally spot on to Chanel Chan's Oh, Tundra, I believe. Like the one in the pink bottle. It's definitely very bright and apple smelling. It's a very fresh scent, clean girl scent, if you will. It is literally identical because I did have both at one point, Chanel Chance and this one. I ended up giving Chanel Chance to my mom and she literally loved it. She told me she gets compliments like everywhere with that perfume. So I'm glad it went to a nice home because she used it up real quick and she loved it. So I'm just going to get rid of this because I just, I've come to realize this is not my scent profile. It's nice. It's really, really nice, but it's just not for me. And this is a gigantic 6.8 fluid ounce bottle. So whoever gets this, you will have this for a very long time. Then I got rid of a fantasy perfume. So this is Hidden Fantasy by Britney Spears. So it's a flanker to the fantasy line. This one actually smells nothing like the OG fantasy, which usually I feel like most of them smell like a version of the original. This one does not. This one gives me a more and more by Cacharelle vibes. Nina Ricci by Nina Ricci, the little apple bottle. It smells similar to those. It has this very citrusy kind of scent, but there's sweetness to it. It's also a little bit spicy slightly, like maybe a ginger note or something. It's really, really nice. And honestly, this is probably my one of my favorites from the fantasy line, but I don't, I don't use it. And I already have Nina Ricci and... I have a more and more in my collection. So I'm like, I'm just, I'm gonna get rid of one of them because I don't want three of the same scents. So I ended up decluttering Hidden Fantasy. And then I got rid of yet another Britney Spears perfume. This is Believe. So I finally got rid of Believe. It took me a minute to get rid of this because in every declutter I would do, I would go to this and I would want to get rid of it and I would smell it and be like, no, this smells so good. But then I never used it and I kind of gave myself two, three times and now that I'm doing this declutter, I'm like, okay, you kept this through all those declutters but you still didn't use it. So I think it's time to let it go. I really like this, don't get me wrong. I'm not getting rid of this because I don't like it. I just don't use it, Truth, like look at it. It is completely full to the brim. I do not use it. It smells great. And honestly, from not even just Britney Spears, but celebrity perfumes in general, I think this is really well done. And you might look at the green juice and think, oh, it's probably like a fresh, boring kind of scent. No, this has character to it. And there's this guava note in it, but it has a heavy, perfumey background. And it honestly smells expensive. So... Whoever gets this is going to be really, really lucky because I feel like this is one of those hidden gems that from the outside, you might be like, mm, okay, but then you smell it and you're like, oh, okay, that actually smells really, really high end than what it looks like. So yeah, that's a really nice one. I just don't Okay, another freshie. I'm realizing I'm getting rid of like a good amount of fresh perfumes in this video. But again, as I said earlier, I feel like I found my signature fresh scents and I have like a good few of them. And I love them so much and I just feel like nothing beats them. So I'm kind of just trying to get rid of everything else that is fresh that I just don't use. And this is Lacoste Eau Fresh. This has a really long name. It's like L1212. It's the Eau de Toilette version. I'm not going to lie. I really, really like this for as much as I had it. I did use it a couple times. It's like, it has the tiniest little dent in it. I mean, it's pretty much completely full. But I did use it a couple times like for the gym and stuff. And it's a great fragrance, don't get me wrong. It's very aquatic with a lot of fruitiness. And it honestly reminds me a lot of Bright Crystal by Versace. So if you're into that kind of scent, you would love this. I have never owned Bright Crystal. My mom used to use it. Like that was like her signature scent. So I think I kept this just because like the nostalgia of it reminding me to Bright Crystal. But 
it just it's not a scent I reach for a ton so I finally decided to let go of it and then I'm getting rid of guess 1981 indigo this is such a unique fresh scent and I kept it for as long as I did for a reason because this for a fresh scent has so much character to it and honestly if this was bottled up in like a Jo Malone bottle people would be paying a lot more of this because it's so unique for a fresh scent this doesn't smell like fruits or citrus or you know aquatic whatever it is aquatic but this actually has I believe a red wine note in it and I think grapes or something like that. I, I don't know the notes at the top of my head, but it just has really, really unique notes. Like if you do your research on this, you will come to realize that yourself. It has almost a slight tropical-ish vibe about it without smelling like coconut or anything. Almost like a beachy scent, like just like beachfront. It's a really indescribable type of scent, but it's actually so, so unique. And this is a full size 3.4. Um, fluid ounce bottle and it is completely new. I have used this a few times and then I completely stopped using it. Then I'm getting rid of Rosewood by Banana Republic. Oops. This is a really nice scent. It's very powdery and it has almost like that makeup kind of powdery scent to it. It's a little bit musky. It's really, really nice. I feel like I have some type of variation of this in my collection so I decided to let it go and it's slightly a little bit more powdery than I would want it to but it has this sweetness to it and it's actually really 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 nice it's very unique it doesn't smell like every fragrance on the market but I don't use it like look at this bottle it is completely full I do not use it so I that's I guess kind of the running theme with this video is just fragrances that I don't use they're nice I love them I love how they smell but I don't use it. And then the very last fragrance I'm getting rid of is Femme by Usher. So again, as you can see by how full this is, I just don't reach for it. But I will say, this smells so good. Like, so, so good. This is actually a great dupe to La Via Belle Intensement, I believe that one is called. So not the OG La Via Belle, but the flanker of it it has this strong berry vibe to it and i think it has a little bit of patchouli in the base like if you see the notes they're also very similar between the two it kind of almost reminds me of black opium slightly it has a really really sexy vibe to it and the few times that i did wear this i used to get good comments on it and this is a very 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 inexpensive scent so it's definitely worth it because it's definitely kind of like one of those hidden gem cheapy type of fragrances but it actually packs a punch and it lasts forever it actually has great longevity it's a powerful scent and it smells super sexy. all right so that is all the fragrances that i'm decluttering in this video my hair is has been annoying me like what is this my bangs are starting to grow out and i'm definitely letting them grow out because i'm just over having bangs so they're in this like super annoying awkward stage where obviously i can't wear them down i just have to like hide them in my hair but it's like insanely hard to style my hair anyways besides that that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it check out my mercari if you're interested in any of these scents before they sell out. It'll be the first link in my description box if you're interested. Let me know if you pick up anything and how you like them. That is it for me today. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!